until I finally get access. So um, it's a system that, that you can't forge. It's not easy. You can't get by it. Hey, yes, sir. So I got my own blockchain then, or how are these blockchains Well, there's going to be, well, there's, there is such thing as nesting blockchains, yes. But there, there's going to be a central, uh, one central blockchain, like Bitcoin is the blockchain for all the transactions that are conducted in Bitcoin. The engineering blockchain will be the blockchain for all the transactions that are conducted in engineering. Ultimately, your transaction record constitutes a micro um, blockchain. It itself is a blockchain because you have these ordered units in time. And yes, you can, you know, point to each other and so forth. But this would be one um, blockchain for the engineering profession, something that we built. And guess what? Nobody's going to build it for us. All right? I've spoken to a lot of people, and they really, really don't like the idea of engineers organized because our value that we provide to society is so outsized compared to what we consume that it's probably a good idea to keep us unknowledgeable of finance. We all get rich. We do get exceedingly rich. Now, I don't want to, I don't want to sound shrill, okay? At the expense of sounding shrill, that, that the stuff happening in the financial industry and in the insurance industry represents ultimately trillions of dollars of value, and all of it depends on establishing title. Utterly depends on it. So, you know, is it? Are we getting this on a silver platter? I don't know. At least we'll be at par with our brethren, the lawyers and the doctors. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee anything, but there is a potential, all right, for the two to reach parity, the clock and the dollar to reach parity. Uh, yeah. I'm, maybe it's a sugar high for my dessert, but yeah. I'm still having a little difficulty putting this together. Right. Is this more of a network of engineers putting their knowledge online, more or less? It's not literally writing out your knowledge and putting it in a, a page online. It's what's between your brain being represented digitally. So if somebody wants to find it, they have to find you. Okay, what are they buying from me? Well, they buy, well, just, it, it's the same thing you're doing today. Uh, they're buying access to the database with Quant, but when they hire you, they're going to hire you in dollars or whatever arrangement you have. It changes nothing except puts a layer on top, which creates this database, which makes it easier for them to find you. It's LinkedIn on the blockchain. I'll approach LinkedIn and they, they have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe you guys don't either. But I'm getting there. <laughs> okay. Again, no, this is heavy stuff. Don't feel bad. This is super weird stuff. But we're looking at it very, very carefully. And this is what has to be done. We have this is built by engineers. I mean, we can figure this thing out. If they can if they make it, they can make it, we can break it. All right, that's what engineers do. So we're, this is what we're trying no, to do. No. We fix things whether they need it or not. Right. <laughs> but there's also the design, there's renovation, there's maintenance. Those are all huge components of our economy. Okay, and we're just being hired on an hourly basis while everybody else is taking percent of contract or royalties. This puts us in a condition where our com compensation uh, model could go to um, royalties or percent of contract or, or something like that. We can, we can actually take the value that we actually participate in. Um, that's the last point. Now, I was going to this conference was just amazing. I heard so many interesting things, especially this morning with, with uh, Vince. And he was talking about, you know, how do you get people to, to take the FE? Well, if you issue them quant, then they have a motivation. Now they have a peer pressure object that they can use. I got a thousand quant for doing my, my PE. There's a peer pressure item. And if it's not enough, you give them more. Because you can program the algorithm to incent certain activities. Okay. Um, same with continuing education. You can put uh, okay, your continuing education can go on the blockchain and all produce revenue back to you, which is convertible, fungible. Um, it's excellent for separation of duties. It allows for increased collaboration, regional, national, international, because the goal is to put all engineers across the globe on this sort of, uh, of a system. And um, so we also talk about cryptographic seals, digital signatures, electronic documents. It's all built into the stuff. I can explain a lot of it to you, and I actually got a few extra slides if you're interested. But you know, cryptographic seals are things that, that are very easy to do, things that transmit very well on the blockchain. The problems that they have off a of blockchain are solved with the blockchain. So these are things that, um, uh, and then you can also introduce various personas. I think the artist thing was interesting today because um, you know you can you can introduce your persona as an artist. 
So somebody looking for engineer plus artist will find you. Okay, so it's not, your, your, your background exists like, like a code, like a line of code, not like a resume, which has to be interpreted and read by a computer and, and thrown out. It's, it's going to be a line of code which gets picked up by data that's being, that's being used to make decisions. Um, yes? Oh, it's just it's a cryptocurrency, and it's 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 like Bitcoin, except it's not gener generated from uh, a trivial puzzle. It's generated from a real life puzzle. So, so maybe it would be safe to say that a bond might be something like a circuit. So let's suppose. It's, it's, so yes. you and I are linked now because I take the class, I give you some of my mom, you give me some of yours. And that, that's the way that you and I can have this interaction. Yeah. And all of us would get some plot with you. And if there's a place that can store this record of plot going back and forth, I think that's one piece of what you want to have happen. Right. We're, we're, we're copying what they're doing in finance, except inserting the engineering component. And or that we have, so if all of us are now tied into you, if somebody wants to go and mess with you, they also have to come and mess with each one of them. Right. If they, have to corrupt, if they want to corrupt me, they got to corrupt you all first. So that's a bit of security. Right. And you need to incentivize somebody to have a server that's going to hold all this stuff we talk about. Well, that's the server part I'm not going to talk about because that's that you get a PhD in it's data mechanics. I mean, it's 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 wild. Um, that's difficult. But you're 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 correct. We generate these quants by putting our knowledge in the form of our, our resume, so to speak, in, into the system, and it represents us. So they don't put the resume; they come to us. So they have to contact you. So if you have your transaction record, could open certain doors and certain keys, certain jobs. You can isolate your work to certain other people by specifying the conditions of that of that transaction record they can enter. So there's a lot of a lot of other things you can you can do with it. But the um, the currency itself is generated by our building this central database, and we're all intended to do so. It's um, we get a transaction record which establishes our our our, um, our reputation in our community, and then um, this. Token has intrinsic value, like Bitcoin has no intrinsic value. This does have intrinsic value because it represents the productivity of the entire society because this is what we do. So it represents an underlying asset of productivity. So if you have an asset with an underlying asset of productivity, it's going to be readily convertible with another asset such as the dollar or the yen or Deutschmark or, or euro um, and so forth. Excuse me? I could be more expensive too. You know, see, it's, it's going to be at least it's going to be proportional. The guy with the most experience is going to have the higher price. Maybe they don't need. Maybe it's a little small bridge. They don't need a big bridge engineer. And this is what they're stuck with. They're stuck with big bridge engineers to build like this, you know, patio. So you know, we, we, you know, it sort of it reallocates. It allocates the the knowledge assets more correctly. Um, now we all have quant, and it'll be available. On, it'll be available in exchange. So. There will be a tendency to want to hoard quant from insurance companies and banks who feel maybe insecure that the financial crisis is going to get worse, so they want to be able to access this database of engineers, or there's a particularly bad storm season, so they want to access this database of engineers. So they're going to try to buy quant, and it's only, they can only buy it from you. They can't buy it from the system. They can only buy it from other engineers on exchange. So that may drive the value of quant up to a point 
because if it gets too high, like Bitcoin, then more engineers are going to start building up more stuff. And it's going to start coming down. So it's not for speculation, but there could be, it would be valued correctly, obviously. It's not for speculation. That's what keeps us out of the crosshairs of the SEC, because you don't want to be issuing securities with a speculative uh, uh, prospect to them. You know? And there's other issues, legal issues, that to be addressed. Um, and the best currencies are those which are grown organically, not speculative anyway. So. It's just a name I made up. <laughs> it, it could be anything. It could be Billy Bob's or something. I don't care. Whatever you want. Oh, whatever you want. No, we, we, these are things that are indeterminate. No, we don't know yet. We're, we're, we're just starting to put this together. Yes? Okay, and that's similar to what banks have as problem with KYC, AML, know your customer and anti money laundering. You have to know who you're doing business with. And that's a big problem on cryptocurrencies. It's called identity. It's a huge, huge problem. However, it's sort of like Craigslist. If you can interact, two people can interact with each other anonymously, then they have no liability to each other. So I can't sue you because I don't know who you are. And, and I have to trust your advice based on your transaction record, which you can't force. So it's kind of maybe good bet. And you can advise that person to come, how to come into compliance. And once they are in compliance, then you can expose your identity and transact. This is Right, right. So you, know, you want to give them a path to success. Maybe they're doing a dirty deal. Or maybe they've got something to what's on them. You, know, you want to give them a chance to correct that before they come into the system. I mean, and these are tools that this thing can do, things you can do with this, you can program it certain ways. Once you have a cryptography, you can introduce all kinds of Boolean logic statements to this sort of stuff. If they have, so your, your, your PE can only open certain doors, so all the work is going by you, and you get up in the morning, you put your key in, and your work comes out to you, and you go up and inspect that property, and the owner doesn't know what engineer is coming, so he can't corrupt anybody, you don't necessarily know who the owner is, so you can't be corrupted, and you get the job done, and you increase, and you increase the security, you increase the integrity, and the value of all the data. So that's how this thing kind of plays. It's all game mechanics, game theory, I'm not sure. You're familiar with that? Yes, sir. Okay, well, I just, this is it. I mean, so the idea is to create a worldwide multidisciplinary decentralized network of uniquely identifiable engineers who are qualified to adjudicate smart contracts on block in the physical domain. Okay, adjudicate is like a referee game. So there's a big transaction going on. I need to referee this. I have to make sure that that security represents that asset. You need to set the eyes on the floor. Before the block closes, because once bad data goes into the block, you can't get out. So there's a huge incentive to get a referee on the floor, and you have to qualify them and make them incorruptible. So this is something that we can do very, very well. Yes, sir? What happens block Well, you could will to your friends, you know. I'm sorry? Well, neither is the insurance company. You can bought it. You can live with it. Or you can come up with some sort of device which consumes them. I'm not sure. You know, a game has, has uh, all kinds of games have, they have sources and sinks where the way to create money, to create, create, great ways to destroy money. Well, you, you, can, you can destroy quad in the moment that you, that you transact with a dollar. You know, I don't know. It's very easy to do that. These are simple things that we can worry about later to optimize um, and so forth. Um, we just won a competition with the American Society of Civil Engineers. Uh, the currency of engineering, it's uh, best value, revolutionary blockchain, um, and we'll be presenting this, uh, in, we'll be presenting in Washington, D.C., or at the headquarters in Virginia, um, in two weeks, so we've we won a contract from the ASC. Yes? Can you tell me how this uh, is in any profession or It is, it is actually applicable to everybody. Right. So, like artists, for example. An artist is the maker of useful things by any definition. So it's an engineer. I mean, if you really want to bring it to that level, but you know, they, if they're creating value, if they're creating productive stuff, increasing human productivity, they receive quant. That's a huge adjustment from where we are today, where there's this huge division um, between the rich and the poor, or between the productive and the non-productive. Non -productive. However you want to frame it, it's inefficient today. And we're not. We just want to make it efficient. That's all we want to do. We don't want to keep robbing anybody's pie. We just want to make it efficient. 
And you can have a few some interesting things other slides. So that's it. Um, I have to vote in a little while. So please take my name, Dan Rose, on Big Fest Seattle. And I'm not sure if we have the contact information. If you're interested in any more of this information, just give me a call or look at IEBC.co. Google us. Or go look through those um, documents on the MC website, white papers um, that we've created. Thank you very much.
Sure. Yeah.
verify there's still a more oh that individual PEs are still intellectually viable for solving engineering problems. For example, I need to see um, for example Basis and solve or not solve a particular particular problem like designing a material, setting up a manufacturing protocol, developing a circuit, submitting a patent. If successful, as verified, um, either virtually. score on the Chinese exam, but then he comes back saying he was second. had several conversations with some engineers such as Colin Belta at, uh, at uh, Boston University who was fascinated becoming a quant.
only have in the mind for it. Okay. Good to dip into game theory. Dan, that's all I got from Flathead Lake, June 17th, 2017. Nice job, and uh, good luck on your next talk. 50? 50-30? What else? Well, it's a minute to go. We'll just let, we'll let her run to uh, 52. That's my favorite number. Tell the story on that sometime. Oh, there's 51. Oh. What else? Last year there was a bat caught in this window behind me. I can send you a picture of that as well. Oh, maybe I'll just show you that little, that little blurb in the 2008 paper. show this in the last minute of the 52. It's down here. You guys catch all this? conservative portion, and here's the non-conservative portion. That C represents the irreversibility of the system. All right. Yeah, and also the C represents the, the ratcheting that we talked about in the first uh, couple slides. That's the ratchet right there.